Dragon Age Origins was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood, intense violence, language, partial nudity, and sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ronneth and I play games for the internet and today we're playing Dragon Age Origins, a bonus series, The Human Noble Origin. Last time, we retrieved our dog, Vincent, from the larder so he wouldn't bother our nanny-turned-cook anymore. And also, we were told by our father to go find our older brother. Except that that's boring, so we're going to continue to run around the castle and find stuff. I mean, eventually we'll get to Fergus. Eventually. <sighs> Ooh, library. Books, 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 books. And I'm off. Good evening, my lord. Good evening, sir. Books, 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 books. I'll talk to them later. All right. Book. No. Nothing else. Really? Not a single diddly dang thing. All right. Come on, Vincent. And I'm off. Good boy. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Mood. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. <laughs> Still the same taskmaster, I see. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Hmm. Certainly, I'd be happy to. Wonderful. Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? <clears throat> we predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. Oi! It's your skill as a tutor, of course. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. We opposed the king? Well, the Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanhad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanhad won. Mm. And Kalanhad let us keep the Tinir? Kalanhad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanhad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. Hmm. When was our line founded? Well, records are vague, but the Kuslans became Tierns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? During the Lycanthrope Plagues? Good. I'm pleased some of my lessons seem to have stuck. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty. 
making him their tyrant. Uh, tell them about our relationship with Arl Hal. The history between the Kuslans and the Howls reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Mm. When did Orle occupy Highever? During your grandfather's rule. Of course, Orle found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near Highever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your <laughs> grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orle? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. But my father and Arl Howe are old friends. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion. When all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. <laughs> Time to end the lesson, I think. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and... Apparently, I just talk to myself for all the good I really have to do with myself all this while she won't do this. <laughs> so, Aldous, Aldous is uh, voiced by Jim Cummings, who y'all may know as uh, the 90s Darkwing Duck and also Tigger. <laughs> Very famous voice actor, so it's always nice to hear him. <laughs> but that was enlightening. Good evening, my lord. And I suppose, I suppose we can finally. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? <laughs> yes, Mother. Nana's back to work as we speak. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Of course. It's good to see you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. Mm. And you, Dairon. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. <laughs> Perhaps we should speak alone sometime, Iona. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. And for the record, uh, insouciance means uh, <clears throat> casual lack of concern or indifference. Just that's your vocabulary word for today. Hello, mother. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. I have a bad feeling about all this. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight the maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. 
Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? Mm. What if they fall without me? It's in the Maker's hands now, and we must cope as best we can. Are you staying at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. As you wish. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. I needn't have been concerned. Did you know there's a Grey Warden here? Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Would that be so bad? There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. You know, I never really noticed how our cheekbones look. Until you see him from behind. Do you know where Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I should go. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I love you too. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. So, I know that we're supposed to go find Fergus, blah blah blah, but that's plot, damn it! We want to talk. <laughs> Vincent, we want to talk with Dairon and Iona. Hello again. Your castle study is wonderful. Might I ask whose collection this is? Uh, it was my grandfather's, but I come here often to read. So would I. Do you have a favorite book? The Art of Passionate Love by Brother Capria. Oh, that was banned by the Chantry, wasn't it? Quite provocative, I understand. I've, uh, never read it myself. <laughs> I could tell you all about it. Oh, that's not necessary. Uh, perhaps another time. Oh. So you're going to be riding with my father tomorrow? Yes, though I don't know when. I will leave when your father does. I'll ride as his second. A glorified squire, more or less. I'll care for his horse and armor and such. It's quite an honor. Will you actually fight? I hope so. I admit to trepidation about facing Darkspawn, but I can't imagine an opponent more worthy of defeat. You consider it an honor to do menial tasks? Unlike you, I am no child of a great house. If I can rise within the ranks of your father's service, it is more than I could normally hope for. I'm a bit surprised that you're not riding alongside your brother. Is that disappointing? Mm. I have important duties here at the castle. True enough. This is no small estate like my own. If you're interested, I shall record what I can during the battle. My writing skills may be lacking, but I hope to convey a true sense of the warrior's experience. Writing such an important work is one of my ambitions. Do you know anything about the Grey Wardens? No more than anyone else. Is it true there is one here in the castle? Have you met him? It's true. I've met him. I joined the Grey Wardens in a heartbeat. Can you imagine destroying the Darkspawn forever, becoming a hero? But I'd never gain a Grey Warden's notice. I'll have to be happy under your father's command. Mm. I'd like to get to know you a little better. I'd like that. What did you have in mind? Uh, why don't we go... Mm, tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell. I am the eldest son of a minor lord. I can't imagine I'm anyone very interesting to you. Why don't we go somewhere more private? Gladly. 
But your mother is expecting me for dinner shortly, as is mine. Perhaps another time? Why don't you come to my room later tonight? I suppose I could see you after everyone is asleep for something of a more intimate nature, if that is what you mean. Is that what you want? I think I do. Then I will see you tonight. I look forward to it. I shall see you then. <sighs> yeah! You can either sleep with Dairon or Iona, but this is me and everything's gay. But let's talk to Iona anyway. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. <coughs> Greetings once again, my lord. Good evening. Farewell, my lord. Oh, Good luck on whoops. managing this castle in the coming that's months. That's not what I meant. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Ah, that's not what I meant. Greetings once again, my lord. Uh, how did you come to know Lady Landra? My family has been in service to hers for many years. Lady Landra elevated my place as a reward for our loyalty. I hope this position might pass to my daughter. You have a daughter? Forgive me, I shouldn't have mentioned her. It's quite all right. Her name is Amethine. Her father died of a wasting sickness two years ago. You speak of her fondly. Amethine is my life. You'll know when you have children. This mm. is why your mother protects you from the coming battle. You don't hope for more for your daughter? I have risen very high for my people. I would not tempt fate by wishing more. It sounds like Lady Landra has been good to you. Lady Landra is good to her elven servants. That is not true in many households, but I hear it is in yours. It speaks well of your father to show such compassion. I haven't seen many elven ladies in waiting. Lady Landra has been very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, your mother has no ladies in waiting herself. Is that usual for a noble woman of her rank? Mm. Maybe a little. She's never desired one. That is a very Ferelden attitude, I think, to be so self-sufficient. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. I am an open book, my lord. What would you like to know? Oh... Uh, where are you born? Lady Landra's manor is not half so large as your castle, so my family lives in the alienage. Uh... Do you enjoy living there? There we do not stand out quite so much. In an alienage, my daughter learns what it means to be elven, as much as possible. So much of our history has been lost. Is there anyone special back home? No longer. I have little time for such things. Mm. It must get very lonely. Sometimes. But I take comfort in time with my daughter. Mm. This is a very, very charged question. And I don't know if I should ask it. So... I'd like to ask you about something else. Of course. Uh, never mind. Good evening. Farewell, my lord. Good luck on managing this castle in the coming months. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Nah, not so difficult. But, right. Let's go. Finally, it is time to go bother my brother. But not before we literally open every door. <sighs> Come on. Tally ho. Eh, key. Huh. Hmm.
nothing here. That's my room. So. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. <laughs> Should I wait outside? Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Mm. You'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. <laughs> I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Did you know there's a great warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? He's going to test Sir Gilmore. Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on you. Not that Father would ever allow it. Mm. Do you really think the war will be over quickly? Word from the South is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead. So little time. Off <laughs> we go, then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Hmm. Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Makers sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? <laughs> a wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Mother can handle herself. Always has. It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Saving game. Book. Book. Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Uncle? <laughs> yes, that's true, Oren. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? Dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Uncle? Then I can fight evil too. Take that, dire bunny. All dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. You bet. Let's go. Fergus, there are times your family causes me great pain. Now, now. Mind your mother, Oren. I never get to do anything. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon, I promise. That... Weird... I don't like the sound of that. Anyway, if you should need any assistance in the coming days, 
I would be glad to offer it. Getting sent to bed early, are we? <laughs> Have fun on the long march in the cold. Hmm, <laughs> a warm bed doesn't sound so bad now, come to think of it. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Mm. About this Grey Warden. Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? He hasn't. I was just wondering about him. If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. I'll go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. That felt all very ominous. <laughs> Wait, we really had sex with the dog in the room? Yikes. I'm sorry, I've been trying to quiet him, but... He won't have it. I don't know why he's so angry. Perhaps something is wrong. I thought I heard yelling when I woke up. But now I hear nothing. Wait here. I'm going to see if there's something out in the hall. You might want to put on pit. Uh... All right. So, Was there great, great. Uh, our boyfriend, question mark, just got killed, and that's it. That was Arl Hausman. What is going on? Oh. Vincent leveled up too. Uh. And. Uh. Oh, Dyron. You didn't deserve this. <sighs> yeah, that says it's how our house soldiers. What on earth? Time to get dressed. Figure out just what the hell. Hmm. Yeah, next time we'll, uh... We'll see what's going on. Until then, everyone. Bye-bye.